So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my best logo design softwares that you can use in 2020. My main recommendation and the tool that I use mostly is Adobe Illustrator. Yes, it will cost some money. It will cost about $20 a month or if you buy an Adobe subscription, you can pay as little as 30, you know, to $40 a month if you have a discount, which is really helpful because then you get all the platforms and all the pro programs. So you can see here, Adobe Illustrator is my number one recommendation. I'm just on their main page, which you can see in the URL, adobe.com to find it. But it is the best industry standard for all logo designers and I feel like this should be used as the number one. Second is Affinity Designer. This is a cheaper alternative to Illustrator. This only costs about $80. And you can see here on the page, it looks professional. So you can see for Windows and Mac, $80. Um, you can see it has all the capabilities and it's actually grown over the years as it's a cheaper option than Illustrator is because Adobe is a subscription based model. This is a, you know, one time offer where you just buy the program outright and you own it. So, and it has all the potentials to create all the same stuff as well. Um, so I feel like this is a good one. Number three is Coral Draw. So if you go to Coral, CoralDraw.com, similar to, you know, Affinity and other programs, but obviously you're limited. Um, it's not crazy good, but it is recommended. And it's got, you know, a graphic suit as well, which you can check out and you can do all types of stuff with that. Number four is Vector, V-E-C-T-R. This one is a really interesting one as well. You can literally just create a file online. You don't even have to like download an app. You can just click it and do it all within the browser, which is actually really helpful if you want to create maybe a quick logo. But you can see here's a page. It's got very limited features, but you can create shapes you can add text and do all that type of stuff. And I feel like, you know, if it's something quick or you, maybe you're not a designer, then I, this is a good starting point. The next one is Inkscape. It's great for, you know, doing art or maybe some illustration. Obviously, it's very limited and sometimes it's buggy as well. But you can see here, the website doesn't look too good, but um, you can see here all the features. You can create objects. It's got like the pen tools and shape tools fills and strokes and paths, which is all the basics you need for a logo design. Next up, it's Gravit Designer. Here's another app, which I feel is probably similar to Affinity Designer. You can see it's got a fair amount of features. I feel like this is sort of a new platform, but you can see you can do vector editing, you can do logos, illustrations, stickers, banners, all type of stuff here. So you can see, I'm not sure if they're doing enough marketing, but you can see um, it says Coral Corporation, so I'm not sure if this is an extension of Coral Draw or something, but it seems usable, seems cool. And finally is GIMP.org. This is an open source image editor, and you can you know edit images. You can go for a designer or illustrator. You can see graphic elements, and it also you know allows to publish to, the, to these objects here, these platforms, and you can see he. It looks pretty cool, looks interesting. So you can download it and you can install it on your computer in all these different languages. So um, it's very flexible, but it's very limited. Once again, it's not the best platform I recommend. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know if this was a helpful video. You know, if you're a non-designer or a designer, you've got to pick what's right for you. It doesn't matter what you use. I use Illustrator, but that's personally my opinion. But you can use whatever you like, you know, whatever works for you, whatever works within your budget. But, you know, if you want to be a professional, then I suggest getting, investing the money into a professional software that would be the industry standard for all, you know, um, businesses and all people who want, to, who want to do freelancing or do it as a career. So thanks for watching. Hit that comment button. Let me know your thoughts on these software if you've used any of them. And remember to subscribe for more design content every week.